Hey, what's up everybody? This is Frank from Tiny Plastic Spaceman, and uh, you might recognize this tape and the shape of the box if you've been following the Drop Zone and Drop Fleet Commander groups on Facebook. Um, this is a drops, uh, f Drop Fleet Commander uh, Admiral Pledge, and actually this has been open a bit because uh, me and my buddy Jack, we are splitting the Admiral Pledge. Um, I'm getting... I think all or most of the UCM stuff and the Shaltari stuff and one of the two players starter sets, Jack's keeping the other one, uh, I've got some extra things so there's things have been mixed around a little bit but uh, basically you've seen pictures online and um, this is, uh, I'll just throw a picture in to see, uh, to show what uh, the box looks like uh, when it was opened. So let's see what Jack has set aside for me here. First of all, on top of all okay, the pledges. So what we've got here is uh, we had a little malfunction there with the camera. I'm using my phone and you'll notice that uh, the background's not white like it normally is, but that's because we're doing this at Jax. So a um, little bit of improv here. So this is the Shaltari shirt, uh, size large. Hopefully I can uh, stay that size as a you know dedicated gamer. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ah, UCM. This is going to be my main fleet. Um, Shaltari going to be sort of my secondary fleet. Um, so that looks cool. I do like the, the looks of these. They look kind of remind me of the, I think it's the Nebulon B from Star Wars. And, you know, very sort of colonial marine sort of look, but obviously that's kind of the, the look that they're going for. And then, ah, look at this. Yeah, that's, this is really cool. This is the shirt I really like. It's sort of a wire drawing, um, with all the callouts for the big Beijing, uh, battleship which is going to be super, super cool. And Jack, my assistant, my lovely assistant, will just hand me, this is the PHR fleet, which is Jack's fleet. Um, I hate all of these ships. Uh, they all suck. I hate them, and uh, they should all just, you know, like, burn and die. But, yeah, they, they do look pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, I like the, the movable veins and all this stuff, and uh, it was really cool. And these are the... Uh, Scourge, yes, I almost said Shaltar. Yeah, so, yeah, Scourge ships. Um, I don't really feel the, but, you know, this is all just personal sort of opinion, but um, some of them I don't really like the look of, but, you know, it's they, they still look pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm still looking forward to painting up the, uh, the uh, starter fleet of those. And this is the exclusive Admiral shirt. Look at that. So this is uh, anything special on this? There's no $100 bills on the back or anything? Ah, yeah, there we are. Look at that. What does that say? Alatum Victoria. Ah, cool. The BC-16 Liberator. That's pretty cool. So that's, uh, I think only you get one per admiral, right? Could you buy any extra? I think so. No, don't think so. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What else have we got? We're gonna we're gonna ignore this side of the of the box for the moment, but we'll take out. Let's see, let's start with what are these? Ah, uh, these are the space stations. So now, if you've watched the Beast of War videos, I'm not gonna go through every single uh, thing on every single sprue, but I'll happily pop one of these open. These are really cool. These are I definitely added these on. I don't think I got these as part of my thing um like i said we split the we split the uh the the pledge so these are obviously these are the bases and if you've been watching the beast of war stuff you know all about these and people who played and use these um they have their own opinions on how on how good they are um and these are i think there's geez there's four sprues of each of these and these make space stations in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and you can connect them and magnetize them if you really want to. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, but we'll see how expensive extra space station sprues are. So really looking forward to these. And I think I even got the Scourge add-on to make it look all scourgy and stuff, but I can't remember. Let's see what else is in here. This is... Ooh, launch assets! Yes, I definitely wanted these. 
the tiny, tiny ships, tiny, tiny torpedoes, although they're in the, what did Dave say in that Beast of War video? Is to, if the New Orleans class ship is 12 foot long at 10 mil scale, these would be about three feet long. Yeah, yeah that is intense. And I think the idea was that they have loads of uh, armor shielding and I think even guns and stuff like that so they can defend themselves uh, when they're trying to be shot down. But yeah, looking forward to those. Uh, ah, there's my Scourge. No, these are Shaltari. Very cool. You see why I get them mixed up. Uh, they should have called them like Baltari or something like that. <laughs> you know, so you don't start with the same letter. But uh, yeah, there's void gates, there's all the different uh, torpedoes and missile launchers and all sorts of things. Very, very cool. And you can see that you get one, no, two sprues of the big one. And then another sprue for the cruisers. And the funny thing is, I grew up as a military brat, so... Uh, oh no, sorry, you got three. So I, I should know all this stuff, but I didn't grow up in a Navy family, I grew up in an Army family, so I, it took me, actually, this game to get me to figure out what the hell a frigate is, and a cruiser, and whatnot. Obviously a battleship is a battleship, those are the, you know, the, the big guys. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, very cool. And I grew up reading, uh, like, uh, Red Storm Rising and Tom Clancy and all that stuff too, so you'd think I would know all that, but I don't. Uh, another set, okay. Right, I'm gonna have a big Sheltari fleet. Ah, here's the first of my UCM. I actually lucked out and got, I think it's this one, the metal version of New Orleans. And there's the bigger ships. You can swap out. I don't I, I know people are uh, magnetizing these, but to be honest, I don't know what the point would be because you just buy one another uh, Starfleet box, which is what this is. Obviously, there'll be a pack of instructions with it. Um, and yeah, it's you have I mean, the ships are so small anyway, they're not going to take up that much room in a KR case or even on your shelf or anything. So, unless you're really pressed for space, there's an, another one. So that's two starter fleets so far of each. Ah, and there's my first Scourge. I think I have just the one of these from the two-player starter set. And that is fine. I might pick up some more from Jack because he does have piles of these left over. And, ah, we got some stuff in... Ah, is this the extra sprue? There's a Battle cruiser, right? Okay, so let's. All right, okay, yes, the one of each battle cruiser. This is another Sheltari. What's this in here? Is it? Oh, that's the battle cruiser. All right, okay. So these are all the battle cruisers. So these are bigger than the cruisers, and then the battleships are bigger than these, and those are not included with the with the Kickstarter at all. I've gotten all this a bit confused because Jack is uh, much more organized at thinking than I am. So, yeah, so uh, there's the first set of instructions that we've seen. And of course, again, these are on the Beast of War. I'm not going to try and replicate what they do because they did it, you know, with Dave. So I think he's uh, got that all quite covered very well. Activation cards, full deck. I think I, this was an add on that I paid for. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Dice. We got... Ah, okay, there's my Shaltari dice. Whoops, sorry about that. Shaltari dice. Got UCM dice. Not the particular colors I would have chosen, um, if they had the option to do that, but, you know, it's... I think it's pretty cool to have exclusive dice anyway. And then we've got, these are PHR dice. You see the symbols on the six, which is always good. Scourge dice. That little sort of pseudo, and that is a biohazard symbol, isn't it? And then, what are these? It's resistance. resistance dice, all right. I think Dave did say that there are not gonna be resistance ships, but yeah. So that is on record. And let's see what else we've got. Ah, this, the Hawk. Uh, this is, well, this comes in every starter set. The uh, tape measure. 
And then we've got... Wow, what is, oh, that's the, uh, yeah, the civilian cruiser, uh, cruise liner. So yeah, this is, I've been looking forward to this. Now I've seen this at uh, Salute and the, uh, the beta test day and, and whatnot. Try not to touch the tribods with my hands at a weird angle. But uh, yeah, that is, that looks cool. I'm looking forward to see what people, how people paint these as well, because the studio paint job, I can't remember the name of the guys who uh, who actually did all the paint jobs, but um, they did a really nice job. And I, you know, because it's a civilian vessel, you know, it can be any color really. So it's quite cool. Um, we're starting to get into the nitty gritty. Ah, these are bits. These are engine like boosters and various nacelles and a antennas for this guy hey awesome look at this look at this chunk of resin is this a kickstarter exclusive you can only get it with the kickstarter yeah and well they actually had the molds all done and everything like that for these we saw a paint a fully painted version of this faces that way and that goes there approximately and then that will go somewhere there. So look at the size of that thing, that is awesome. I'm sure you hand assembled this when you first saw it. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. That is so cool. Now, if you've seen um, my video, and I'll put a link to it somewhere up here, uh, of the Aegis Orbital Defense Laser, that is one of these. And this is the two-up, what they call the two-up version. So um, this is twice the size of the battleship that we're going to be getting in plastic. And where are the... i got to look somewhere on here. I think it's going to be these little, like, dots and little nipples and stuff like that. Or maybe it's these little tiny, like, rivet-looking things. Um, those are probably the... The... Uh, oh, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it. Can you hand me the escape pod? You still have it over there. The escape pod, which um, if I've got it or when I do have it, it'll be up in a link here. Um, I did a, a unboxing video of that as well. Ah, oh, well, it's somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, looking really looking forward to this. This is really cool. Now, um, now we know obviously they've got the molds for this, and they had it previously at the beta days and probably at salute and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I imagine this will be a pretty expensive model when it is eventually, if it ever gets released to retail. And again, these are the, the engine bits and bobs and the guns, look at the size of the guns. That is so cool. I'm resisting theirs to make like pew pew sounds, but you know, it's a spaceship game. All right, so now that, really look forward that's not even is that the two up that is the two up okay so more two ups coming well one more we've got the blah, 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 blah. Blaferon? Ajax. ajax so if you're in america this is the uh the uh toilet cleaner version so yeah it fits something like that and then there's all the all the bits that come off it and yeah it's uh, the Beavis Mobile, but uh, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. I, I do think it looks pretty cool. Obviously, there's a big chunk of uh, resin that needs chopped off there, but that looks pretty cool. I'll try and get up close. And you know, typical Hawk um, resin, there's a little bit of a slipped, uh, slip cast there and there, but that is just just very gentle sanding with the uh, fine fine grain sandpaper. We'll take that, take care of that. But I don't even feel any mold release or anything on these. These great, so nice. Okay, and what's these? It's PHR starter fleet. PHR starter fleet. Okay, so I'm suppose I'll just take a take a, the sprues out. It's the Again, I didn't get these. The PHR is Jack's Jack's bag. So, uh, but this is what the the Starfleet looks like. 
And at the end of the video, um, I'll go ahead and throw in pictures of both sides of the sprue, um, just for a few seconds at a time, so you can have a look at these. Um, yeah. There's all your guns and your caliber weapons and stuff like that. I hate those. These should all just, let's just throw these all in a fire. Um, what else is there? Ah, here's the stands. Very nice. Like Actually, like, uh, Perspex, um, that's basically plexiglass if you're in the States or Lexan. Same sort of thing, it's bulletproof glass basically, but it's it's got this coating to make it uh, really nice. So this is your very thick, and Perspex, that is literally what, uh, <laughs> what uh, fighter cockpits are made out of, fighter plane cockpits are made out of. Um, now before we get, ah, I was going to say before we get to the book, but there's still more stuff. What's it? That's not a packing list, is it? No. Dear Admiral Backer, there you go, it's nice. Please enclose, find and close your first Admiral delivery. So now you can see here, the second delivery will be with you, including map sets, acrylic tokens. I've got a set of those. Some more prints, posters, and the Scourge Space Station add-on pack. So yes. So yeah, here's your, now I think these are the, let's get rid of the box. I think these are the same maps that we got at the, at the beta day, that they didn't want to give out, but everybody walked out with the, with a one or two each anyway. Or these slightly different, I think, yeah. But the cool thing is you get this really awesome poster. Look at that. I think the other one, this is like the remnants of a, sort of like in a 60s sort of NASA sort of look to it. It's quite neat. I think there's another one. Yeah, we're getting lots of maps, extra maps. We're getting like night radar maps and all sorts of things. But this is the standard um, map, yeah, that comes with the starter set. So you can see that... Uh, I think Dave said that this would represent, say, like a standard... American county size. So if you imagine something that's probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 miles across uh, by 40 or 50 miles across, so that's, you know, four by three is what this is. Or is it? That's not, that's not four by three, is it? Three by two. Three by two. Yeah. Okay. So, but you can put them together to have four by six. So that's pretty cool. And then here's, ooh, they were punched out. Not used to that. So there's your clusters, your space debris, uh, fine debris, and heavy debris, and they're not double-sided. That's okay, because you get two sets of them anyway. And then here's your various markers. Now we've been playing with the very basic markers that I uh, sort of designed. Um, <laughs> they're literally just like old school, very old school markers, but uh, here's quick start guide and reference sheet and uh, beginner scenario thing set up. Ah, here's the stickers for, you can write the names of your fleets on there. Oh, this is the standard one, okay. So this is how you set all your, your, geez, I can't even remember now. There's your hull points, your atmosphere, low orbit, high orbit, and then the the colors denotes uh, the various effects that you're, are on your ship. Are these the extra maps? We don't know. We haven't opened it. Ah, okay. So, oh, okay, here are the build instructions for all the sprues that I've got then. Yeah, so that's all good. I don't need the PHR ones though. Uh, stupid PHR. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Looks like, ah, product catalog. Ah, and here's the, these are the sticker sheets that come with all of the starter sets. So PHR, you have that one. Scourge and whatnot and everything else. Ah, and here's your, this is for the starter set. Because it's a nice color quick reference sheet for the main build that they suggest. And then there's your, each player gets uh, one quick reference guide. 
and should I have that? No, you know. Shaltari, Scourge, PHR, UCM. So these are, you cut these out and you just use these for the suggested fleet builds. It's quite good. And then, and then we've got the book. Now, as Dave said, it's uh, presented in an actual box, which adds the cost, I'm sure, and the shrink wrapping as well. Um, so the, the box is so that uh, shops and retailers and whatnot can, first of all, it protects it during shipping. And second, it uh, can be presented in an upright uh, portrait, uh, what, what's called portrait uh, layout. But, now, if you've seen the the other all the videos that have led up to the release of the game, then you'll know all this. It's in landscape, so it's really nicely done. It's got this nice uh, matte coating to it. I think it's called UV coating. I'm not sure. And then this is uh, this is I think this is in the centerfold of the of the book as well. But this is a sort of line cutout drawing of a New Orleans class strike carrier from the UCM, which is. The same ship that was given out as, well, sold as a uh, show-only metal model, I believe, last year to help promote the, the, uh, the game and get it publicized. So here there's loads of fluff, which I haven't read. I haven't even read uh, Reconquest 1.2 yet, so I don't want to read the fluff just yet. Um, I'm not really fully au fait on the... Uh, on the storyline, but it is kind of cool. It's kind of like a heavy gear sort of thing where each new book ha kind of advances the storyline, which is, a, I think, a really, really cool way to do it. Obviously, we're going through the rules and the scenarios. Um, there's that Age of Sword Defense laser just flipped past. Um, and then here's all the different fleets and the ships. And more ships, all the bad guys, more bad guys, really bad guys. Just loads and loads of bad guys. I hate these guys. All of these. They all suck. These guys are awesome, though. Although I'm not going to be using them very much, because <laughs> they seem really hard to use. Um, and apparently this sort of stuff back here is the real sort of like uh, something crazy happening in the universe. So I don't want to read that yet. Um, and then you get extra copies. And look at that. An index in a game book. How handy is that? So... And the art is just fantastic, as usual. So there we are. That is... Is that the complete set? We've got the add-ons. Well, actually, yeah. The Admirals got these, like a sort of a... If you're ever in the military, um, you or know someone who was, you may have seen these sorts of things. You kind of carry these at all times. Um, it's sort of like a... What would you call it? Like a, a unit token sort of thing. A unit coin, um, and the the thing is, you're if you're in a bar and someone in the military says, "Hey, where's your where's your coin?" and if you don't have it with you, you have to buy him a drink. That's kind of the rule. Um, but you know, it's a military. And then what's this? You can't quite see this. This is a a UCM dog tag. Quite cool. I think this is a Kickstarter Admiral only, as was the coin. And then we've got something that I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't uh, plump for, but these are the ground, not assets, but the cluster, Oops. the things that go in the cluster. So these the... mark or civilian sort of uh, thing. So these are really cool. We'll get a close up look at these. Um, I'll try and find some pictures of the painted versions that I've taken pictures of at the previous uh, events we've been to. But here are you can kind of tell that's the military one, that's the industrial one. And then we have sort of uh, a hive or uh, sort of like a, if you've seen Fifth Element, that sort of very high build sort of thing. It's a very common sci-fi trope, but, it, you know, hive sort of city. Very cool. It looks like the, is that the, I can't remember. There's a building in San Francisco that looks just like that. But yeah, very cool. So yeah, definitely going to be getting these. And like I said, kind of uh, annoyed with past Frank that I didn't order them. Because um, I think they're only an extra 15 pounds or something like that. So I think 
that is it. I'm getting a thumbs up that it is. So yeah, very happy with that. Um, so that is the Admiral uh, unboxing, um, in a way. <laughs> there's everything you get in the Admiral box, um, and plus there's more stuff coming, so look out for part two. Check us out on on Facebook. Just we're at Tiny Plastic Spaceman, tinyplasticspaceman.com, and we're on Instagram at TPS Painting Studio. So if you liked the video, found it informative, please give us a like. Hopefully, it wasn't too long, and you have found it uh, informative or enjoyable in some way. Thank you very much. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.